Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Chet Ubecho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a Chetatorial. A Delta flight from Detroit to Amsterdam was diverted to New York's Kennedy Airport after passengers were served spoiled food. The Red Eye flight, which departed Detroit at 11 p.m. Tuesday, landed in New York at 4 a.m. Wednesday. Emergency medical responders treated 12 passengers upon arrival. The number of affected individuals among the 277 passengers is unclear. Delta has promised a thorough investigation and issued an apology, emphasizing that this incident does not reflect their usual service standards. In other developments, a recent study suggests that Ozempic and Wegovy users may face an increased risk of non-arteritic anterior ischemic optic neuropathy, NAON, a rare eye condition causing sudden vision loss. Mass eye and ear doctors observed a spike in NAON cases among patients taking these drugs. The study, appearing in JAMA Ophthalmology, found that diabetics on semaglutide medications were over four times more likely to develop NAON, with the highest risk within the first year. Despite this, experts advise continued use for diabetes and obesity treatment, noting the rarity of the condition and the need for further research. In another update, thousands evacuated in Northern California due to a wildfire in Butte County amid a lethal heat wave. Governor Newsom declared a state of emergency, mobilizing resources including the National Guard. The Thompson Fire, at 0% containment, has burned over 3,000 acres, endangering Oroville and surrounding areas. Extreme heat, dry conditions, and strong winds fuel the fire's intensity. Over 400 personnel, helicopters, and air tankers battle the blaze. Heat alerts cover the West, with temperatures breaking records. Fireworks and outdoor burning are strongly discouraged due to high risk. In other news, police in Australia are searching for a missing 12-year-old child, reportedly attacked and taken by a crocodile while swimming in Mango Creek, a remote area near Palumpa in the Northern Territory. The incident occurred around 5.30 p.m. on Tuesday. Local officers and a search and rescue team are scouring the area, but the child remains missing. The Northern Territory, home to the world's largest wild crocodile population, has over 100,000 of these predators, though attacks on humans are rare. Authorities urge people to avoid swimming in waters where crocodiles are present. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale.